Hi guys, it's Real Low Bermuda here bringing you another lawn care video. Today we're going to be putting down some sand and leveling out the yard. So we're going to start out by showing you what is needed to level out the lawn. And so uh, we already went down, we picked up uh, some sand. We're going to make several trips instead of paying to have it delivered. We pick, uh, picked up a half a yard at a time just to be safe. Uh, but we're going to start putting that out. So you need a wheelbarrow. You need some fine masonry sand. What we did is we bought the brown masonry sand. It does a little bit better in the yard than the white. Uh, you need uh, some rakes. You need a push broom and then my neighbor actually made this uh, uh, tool to help it's a little bit bigger leveler and uh, we're going to try that out today but before we put anything any sand down i'm going to go ahead and put some melorganite down uh, to get that down underneath the sand and so you can see the yard is already greened up a lot uh, but melorganite is a slow release fertilizer and so we're going to go ahead and throw that down uh, real quick before we put the sand down so I'm going to start out uh, by putting uh, half a pound of nitrogen down, uh, which in my yard I have 3,000 square feet and it takes about 8 pounds of melorganite to uh, get a half a pound of nitrogen. We'll talk, I'm about to make a video on how to calculate uh, your NPK numbers, how to, how to recognize uh, and calculate if you want to put down a half a pound of nitrogen versus a pound of nitrogen and, and so forth i'll make that a separate video so again if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button because uh, you'll 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 not want to miss those videos coming up showing you my progress and we're talking about more about fertilizer So we've already gotten uh, part of the front yard knocked out. So I want to kind of talk about exactly what we're doing and what you can do at home. And so ultimately you kind of see, we just, we just put out piles of sand every three feet. And kind of as you go along, you kind of figure out how much sand you need in each place to have it spread out perfectly. Uh, and then you just start off by taking a rake and not worrying anything about what you're doing at this point. You're just trying to spread it out. So we're not doing any leveling at this point. We're just spreading sand, all right? And so that's something that anybody can do to get the kids uh, when they're locked, uh, when y'all are locked at home on uh, quarantine, get the kids out in the yard and grab a rake and anybody can do this part. And so... Okay. 
Alright guys, so now we've got the, the sand spread out all over the yard. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to try to get it nice and level. And it might require adding a little bit more sand in some areas. Uh, but the wider the tool you have, um, the better. So like if you have a really wide rake, uh, they actually sell one on Amazon now that um, I just don't do enough leveling to justify buying it. But like I said, my neighbor built this. So we're going to give that a try. And also you can use just a long board that will help you. If you kind of notice right now, um, you can you can look for... You can kind of see across here uh, just some indentations, uh, some spots where the grass is already showing through. But if you take a long board, what that'll do is it... Notice that the board's touching everywhere here. And all of a sudden the board doesn't touch. Well, if you just had a small rake, you wouldn't recognize that. And so what this does is it shows me that we need a little more sand there, right? And so that's kind of the way that you do it. The longer the rake, uh, the more you'll be able to expose the, the needs uh, where you need sand and where you have high spots and so forth. And uh, so we're going to, uh, we're going to go to work on this level. This is how you go from making a uh, imperfect yard perfect. Uh, the good news is, is if even if you have a, uh, a terrible, terrible yard that's just been sodded, you can do this. And all that sand will fall in between the cracks of the sod. It won't make it completely level at one time. This is kind of a thing that most people will do every single year. And it doesn't take a lot of work each year. The first time you do it, it takes a lot of work. But each year after that, it's mostly level. You're just doing little dips here and there especially if you have runoff from rain anywhere that comes off of your house or your gutters. And so this is something that quit. It's a quick job after you've done it a couple of times, but it's something that will make your slight imperfections completely perfect. <laughs> All right guys, so we've got the sand all raked in. Uh, we've got it leveled and we have not yet watered it in. I'm about to turn the sprinklers on and get it watered in. And I wanna show you just a couple of things. So as you can see kind of right here, I don't know if you can tell, we're not completely level right here. You have a choice to make. Ultimately, you know you can see how the sand is a, is a little thicker there. It hasn't completely raked in. That means it's already I got a lot in that little spot. So, two things I could do. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to come back probably in a month 
and I'm going to add a little bit more just right to that spot, just spot treat basically. Um, you could go ahead and completely level that out right now and you know in a, in a couple weeks that grass would work its way up through uh, most likely right but you're going to have a bare spot there for, for a couple weeks and I just don't want that right now. So I'm going to choose to leave that little bit of imperfection there um, and I'm gonna come back and touch that up at a later time and so if you were to really you know get down close you can kind of see that there's still some imperfections but ultimately when that grass grows up it's gonna look pretty dang level um, but I can come back and spot treat the rest and that's another reason why you kind of do this um, every year is because each year when you get heavy rains and you get all sorts of things that happen uh, you'll find that you're gonna have little rivets here and there and, and it just constantly requires some tending to 